Don't teach me nothing because I'm the, you know, the goddess of English. I just wanted to share my experience, my thought experience, because I, I know that you can get all of the details and how the course goes and all of the, I don't know, numbers, the topics and everything in between uh, online. So anyway, I'm going uh, to include some of the links to official information about the CELTA certificate and how to get it, blah, blah, blah. But right now I'm going to talk about myself and about my experience, about my feelings and all those things in between. But anyway, the first thing, you know, like how in Russia or I'm not sure, like in my university, at my university, our aim was to get rid of the Russian accent. And I know that I'm not the best, I'm not the best at it even like now. I, I think I'm, in, I'm even worse than I was before uh, because it was really strict and we had this uh, whole phonetics classes and all these things. They were teaching us how to get rid of it. I thought it was like, it was considered the greatest thing ever to have the Russian accent. I was studying for CELTA in Brighton, LSI Brighton. I will leave the links below uh, to this school. It's a very nice school, nice tutors, great group. I really liked the experience. Anyway, I learned in there that, that nobody actually cares about your accent. Everybody actually celebrates their own accent. So I met an English teacher of Russian origin in there and uh, her accent, I mean, if my teacher, if my phonetics teacher actually heard that, she, she would have a heart attack and she would never ever let this person graduate from our university. She's a quite successful English teacher in there. She actually gives um, sessions or lectures on technology in teaching English and all this, those interesting things. It was very enlightening and I didn't expect that whatsoever because I had this stereotype that, you know, if you speak with a Russian accent or with any accent uh, except a British or American, then probably probably I shouldn't listen to you because you are not that good. That's a such, such a b big misconception and I actually learned that any accent is, uh, is respected and they're ready to get information from the sources with any accent or from the people with any accent. It's just it's all about you. So I was the only one who really cared about my accent while everybody else didn't pay attention to it. So I'm not even sure that this is the English thing or this is this is connected to CELTA, but I think it's a kind of a um, senior people thing. They had nice tutors, excellent tutors. They, they were so, so pleasant to deal with and they were so friendly, so supportive and all and everything, everything. But as far as I understood, I mean, I may be wrong, but they're quite used to people joining the course, people who are not into teaching or they have never taught in their lives. So this is something new for them. And I wasn't that person because I have been teaching for like, I mean, more than six years now. Anyway, after some time, I realized that, you know, I wasn't sure that that was right, I, I didn't think that that was okay and stuff, so I decided to voice my opinion, to speak my mind, and um, I'm not sure that they really appreciated it. I would say that they're very set in their own ways, quite rigid as I may say, and when you choose another way of dealing with this or that problem, that may cause you some problems. Not saying that they are, you know, unprofessional or anything like that. No, they are very professional. They they just um, not that supportive of new ways or some creative creativity. I would say that the biggest misconception of getting the great pass for CELTA is about being the most creative self. No, it's not true. You have to follow the rules. There are rules and they need to be followed. If you, you know, tick all the items on the agenda, you're good to go. You get this pass A and there will be no problems. Before I went there, I didn't watch any videos on people going through CELTA or about people's experience after CELTA or during CELTA or anything like that. I didn't read any forums. I didn't care about that only because I didn't want to, you know, work, work myself up to stress myself uh, and because I was quite 
busy at that time um, and uh, I tried not to think about it too much because you know the whole experience of going somewhere to study being uh, quite alone that was quite an experience for me on its own and that's why I didn't want to know any el anyone else's experience I wanted to get my own experience and didn't want to get any preconceived uh, ideas. So when I traveled there, the first week was quite stressful just because I would say it's about different cultural codes, but I'm going to talk about it later. But the most interesting thing is that when I posted uh, about my CELTA course on Instagram, by the way, you can go down to the description and click the link and follow me. I'm not that boring. But when I started posting about my whole trip and my course uh, and I mentioned that it was CELTA, suddenly so many people uh, became active, like DMing me, asking about, so what is your plan? Why are you doing this? What is exactly your purpose? Why did you go to England to do that? Because in Moscow there are perfectly okay courses to get the same CELTA degree. It would cost me like half as much only because it's in Moscow and I have a place to live in here and in, in the UK, you know, it's quite expensive. So anyway, there were so many questions and most of the questions were, there weren't even questions, there were just statements. Oh, I'm sure you're going to get pass A. And I was like, okay, uh, thank you. I should Google pass A CELTA because I had no idea what it stands for. I just thought that it was the CELTA certificate and there were no passes to be honest, there were no grades. I don't know. I'm sorry, I, I, it's just too silly, too stupid and I was too busy to to do my own research. So I went into this, I learned that there are basically three passes that you can get. This is pass A, pass B and just a pass. So the general view is that if you get pass A, you are the best, you have nothing else to learn and stuff like that. If you get a pass, well, <laughs> You did the course, you made an effort, okay. Uh, it's not actually like that, because if you read uh, the information on the passes, it means if you get a pass A, you have all the skills according to the requirements of Cambridge. They're very particular and they're very, as I said, set in their own way. If you tick off all of the points that they mentioned before the course, and if you do everything according to their view, it's perfect, you're done for life, it's it's your passe. But uh, as they told me, it's like passes are actually indicators for an employer to see whether you are going to need or how much of a support you're going to need. So if you get passe, they think that you don't need any help and that you will do everything on your own. So it's a, it's a minimal amount of help needed or support. Just a pass means that you are just starting out and you probably are going to need quite a lot of support from them. And everybody started uh, texting me, DMing me. Right, you're going to get a passe. You're a great teacher. You're... That's nice. I really appreciate the support. But it wasn't helping because during my like next two weeks, I worked myself up so much. I got so anxious. I got so stressed up that I forgot that I was in my favorite country, the favorite place on this planet, England, and basically these two weeks were wasted for me because I was so obsessing about the pass that I'm going to get that it didn't help at all. And it didn't help my classes because I didn't feel that it was me teaching a class. I, I felt that, okay, I need to follow this and this and that to get this pass A and that's why I should forget about how I you know, like usually teach my class because they probably won't appreciate that and blah blah blah. So anyway, it's not the point guys. The point of CELTA course is to get as much experience, as much knowledge as possible to develop yourself as a teacher, to get a, a, another perspective of uh, native speakers teaching their own language. That's it. That's not about getting a grade. Like as teachers, you probably tell that to every student ever, I hope because great is not everything, I mean, duh. That's why passes are not everything as well, right? Think about more important things, please. Last thing that I wanted to say is that it's still worth it. And you know, when people ask me, I mean, all the Russians are very skeptical about the CELTA certificate. All of the people that I know who got the certificate uh, or who 
gave me the opinion on that. They were very skeptical, like, why do you need that? You get a master degree from pedagogical university in the foreign lang languages department. You're quite well educated. Well, I am, but this is the Russian way of teaching English. And why not get their perspective on the same thing? Because they're native speakers and they, well, definitely they, they, you know, they have some different opinions on that. So I would say that for the sake of experience, it's a great thing to go there and to learn it, to experience the atmosphere, to experience the different mentality. I mean, Russian teachers, most of them, they are so sure of themselves. I know the thing, you ain't teaching me nothing because I'm the, you know, the goddess of English. But you know what? I'm not sure because teachers should always develop themselves, this is my opinion, and be very careful about their self-esteem, be very careful about their, the feeling of being very important, influencing their attitude and the way they teach. This is very, very dangerous because I know very few teachers who actually um, are very adequate about uh, evaluating themselves and their abilities. Most of them think that they're gods of teaching and gods of English and there's nothing that they can do wrong and I would say that this is the biggest mistake ever. As for me, it's just my own humble opinion. I would say that CELTA is totally worth it and uh, going and study it in England is the best thing that you can do. I, I don't know, it's just because of the atmosphere and mentality. They have a different cultural code and for example how they give their criticism. Of course they start with a positive thing and they actually tell you something good. Uh, for the first week it was very kind of uh, irritating. Okay, yeah, I did this good. I don't care about that. So tell me what I'm doing wrong. This is the most important thing because I was taught that during my uh, school, at my university, I need to know what I did wrong because this is the, the most important thing ever. Well, guess what? It may be not. It's also essential to realize what you're good at, what you're doing best. It's equally important to realize how good you are at something and uh, that's really got into my head. I learned about that only doing this course. And I don't know, maybe it's just for me. I don't maybe I have this negative outlook on the, um, some of the Russian, some of the points of Russian um, system. But this is, this is what I have. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope that that was helpful or insightful or anything like that. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, subscribe and your attention is precious. Thank you so much.